Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about using Streamlit to create the chat GPT version using the GPT 4.0 model and we are going to use everything right in this video. So let's see what we are going to create. So first of all, I'm going to open my server of Streamlit where it says the chat GPT 4.0. That's the simple thing we are going to create, but it's really a great learning. So here I simply say, hey, and once I say, hey, you can see very soon it has returned that, hey, how can I assist you with your social media marketing needs today? Now, why it's saying social media marketing need directly? You will see when you watch the video till the end. It's really, really powerful thing we have created. Now, I'm going to simply say to this chatbot that, hey, Write me a marketing strategy to sell my course on Instagram. And then it will going to do all the things and give me the response. You can see right here, it's running. This is a streamlit feature. And once done, then we will going to have the content here, right? Like this, all the steps are here. Optimize your profile, plan your strategy, engaging content. Everything is here. We have built this with the help of OpenAI platform and using the ChatGPT 4.0 model and the key we are going to generate right here. We are going to use that everything in this video. So I hope this video will going to be really amazingly blast and you are going to learn so many things. And if you like this video and this kind of video, if you want to come more from my side, don't forget to hit subscribe button and like the video so that I know that you are liking my video. That's really giving me motivation. So without wasting your time, let's get started. To get started with the Streamlit, I'm here on the VS Code. And the first thing I'm going to create is not the file, but a Python environment, the virtual environment like this. And once this is created, then we are going to activate this environment and you can see this name of the directory is there. That means it's working. Great. So first of all, let's install pip install streamlit and also open AI because we are going to use the open AI Python module. Okay, let's create the app.py. Okay, so this is done. And now let's start with uh, writing the application and we simply say import streamlit as st and the first thing i'm going to say is streamlit i'm going to create the page so i'll say first i need to define the page configuration where i'm going to define first of all page title and the page title will be like uh, uh, chat gpt 4 point four oh four oh not point <laughs> okay then page icon page icon i can get the icon from here and i say this is the bot icon i'm going to use and then layout will be simple centered also i'm going to define the chat title uh no, just the title like here which says chat gpt four oh that's simple. So Streamlit is there. Let's start the Streamlit server by saying Streamlit run and the Python file name which we have used. So in our case, it's app.py. So let's use Streamlit run app.py. Once this is done, we have opened this amazing page which says chat GPT 4.0 and also on the title, the, you can see it says chat GPT 4.0 and the icon. Great. So once this is done, we can start by moving into the chat view. So we say starting with streamlit and I say chat input and chat input will say ask anything dot dot dot. And by doing this, we're going to have a very nice input box, which is we are going to use to write our prompt. Great. So let's say, hey, and when I hit enter, that hey should be here as the user prompt right so in that case we first want to get the prompt or basically whatever user is writing in the input field once we have so we say if we have the prompt then what we are going to do we are going to say streamlit dot chat message and in this message i'm going to add the prompt 
that's simple so let's start and say hey and you can see that hey is coming here but you know this is a chat message so in the chat message you need two things one is role and second is the content so here when we say chat message basically we need the role so role is user and then we can chain for the next thing which is the content and content will be the prompt we are going to provide that's great let's see so let's go to the browser and you can see it's here and when i say hey yes you can see hey is there that's great this is for the role of user but let's have another one which is for the role of assistant and this will be like the response we are getting so it will be like hey how can i help you this is the ai will going to say and then if i say hey once again you can see we are getting back the response which is looking something like this obviously it's not real we will going to use the open ai but right now it's good okay let's continue the conversation and say hi now the conversation is not continuing it's replacing the first one and obviously the second one why because the streamlit start from the top to bottom and when it says hey i need to add the users so it add the user in the same thing so we need a way to temporarily hold the chat messages which we can do with the streamlit session okay so here at the top i'll say streamlit session state chats initially it's going to be the empty and when i hit the prompt then i say hey uh, session state dot chats dot append and here i'm going to provide a dictionary of role as user because user is adding the prompt and then content as the prompt we are providing now once we have the session of chats then we can simply loop through the sessions and then show like this so we say for chat in um, streamlit session chats and here i'm going to use these two things once again like this and just for now we want the user and the prompt and instead of directly adding it i'm going to use the chat and here i say give me the role and then here from the chat give me the content okay let's see so reload this page and first say hey yes we are having the hey if we want to continue the conversation if i say hi oh is still not working why remember what happen is streamlit start from top to bottom and whenever we do something it again says hey start an empty session so every time we write something it starts empty session no we don't want we say if chats is already available i can say not in streamlit sessions if it's not there then initialize it otherwise not so reload this page say hey yes it's there second hi and yeah it's here so this means we can continue like this okay that's great but remember what we want we want whenever we hit the prompt we want to hit the open ai get the response back and then show the response here as the assistant response so what we have to do we need the open ai thing so simply we say import open ai and we need the open ai key we use the open ai dot api key we need to define the open ai api key so how we can get that we search for open ai go to login section if you haven't logged in you need to log in again and choose after login where you want to go i want to go into the api section and on the api section we want to visit the api keys so here you can see it's api keys let's click there and it says create new secret key click here and just name it i'm going to name it tutorial and the project name is also tutorial hit create secret key once done we are getting the key copy it and then 
paste it like here obviously we are not going to use it here we will going to use the the env but right now it's okay so i say open ai dot chat dot completions dot create here i'm going to first define the model which model we are going to use we are going to use gpt 4.0 and then what will be the messages for this uh, model messages will be a collection of different dictionaries where first of all i'm going to define the role as system now see for open ai basically there are three role one is user second is the assistant and third is the system what we do here we are just initializing the model and configuring the model as pretending to be so i will say you are the world's best social media marketing uh, person okay so we have defined it like this now second dictionary will be having with a role of remember user and the content we are going to have is the real prompt user has given okay everything is done we will going to accept this as assistant or the response from the open ai and for now let's print out assistant and see what actually we are having so that we can extract the real content from it everything is working fine go here reload the page say hey and now it's saying hey yeah, it's done but the response is here which we have the choices in the choices we have the message and message we have the content okay let's extract this so choices get the first one messages content great so we are going to use this and let's just verify once again when i say hey once more and yeah hey there how can i assist you on social media marketing today great we just want to push this into the session state great so we just say hey it's a session state but the role is going to be the assistant and the content will be the response from the open ai wow that's easy we don't need anything else there and this is done reload the page we say hey and it says how can i assist you with the social media marketing whether you're looking for strategy tips or whatever so i say uh, give me a strategy strategy for course marketing marketing okay so let's see how it's going to respond with this it's going to give me the strategy and this is again coming directly from the open ai great that's right it's here but you can see this is all text given in the markdown format but it's not formatted for markdown so what happen is we are using this text instead we can say markdown and also remember we are using this hard coded key which we don't want so what we are going to say import os and then we say os dot get environment and say open ai key okay so i'm going to just kill this export open ai key which is not this one the new one exported and then start the server once again and then one more time say uh, how are you how are are you <laughs> great one very last thing is you know when we are having a conversation we need to send all the conversation to our model for the reference that means in between this content of system and the user we can just spread all the stream light session stream lit session not light <laughs> stream lit session chat so we say stream lit dot session dot chats and i'm going to spread all of them that means when we are sending we are sending every conversation from the first one till the real prompt this means from here we say you are not social media manager but 
sales person now this change the actual state so then i start like uh, write a strategy for course selling this time it will be something else because it's not a social media marketing it's a sales person so this happened because we are sending these two prompt along with the new prompt which we have given this one so that's really amazing thing and if you like this video just hit the subscribe button because that's very important and hit the like button which gives you the indication that you are really liking this video and your likes can help me to gain motivation to create more content like this if you have any question related to this video or any other video write me in the comment section i'm open for you and going to reply you 100 percent and follow me on any social media platforms at sarthak sevi see you in the next video till then goodbye